Ooh, how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. You guys are tuning in to episode number three of the Backyard Pond Build. If you guys missed episode number one and two, I suggest you guys go watch that. We took our original pond and turned it into a uh, an actual pond. We had the help of Greg, the pond guy. We had Ed and we had Just Add Water. They all came out and in one day transformed our pond from basically milk toast to this guy right here. This is what it looks like. So this is the new pond, new and improved. You guys remember we had a pond here. It looked like crap, Millie loves it. They put in a waterfall. We cut down a couple dead, more dead trees, I guess, and kind of lined it, kind of just added a little aesthetic to the whole thing. Um, but this is the pond, waterfall into a pool. Now you guys might be looking at this thinking, where the heck are the fish? That is what we are gonna be doing today. Episode number three, we need to stock it. So you, you have two options when you're stocking, okay? You can either go to a fish hatchery, which we've done before, and buy the fish from there. Or if you're like me and have a pond, you can go take fish from there and put them in here. Um, so the idea would be to go take fish from the backyard pond, whether it's catfish, bluegill, bass, whatever it might be, put them in here and then feed them to grow them and then release them back in the pond. That way it's kind of like you just, you guys like give them a little steroid shot, kind of boost them up a little bit. And so today's agenda is going to be go and try to catch some fish. So the goal to me would probably be bass, bluegill, and catfish. Now you may notice it is not that big of a pond. It's really not that deep either. They made it a lot more shallow than we had it because it just made sense with the waterfall and the way that the skimmer works and everything. It all kind of goes together. So you can't put a ton of fish in here. You might also notice there's no plant. We're working, well, we got that guy right there, but there's no plants. We have them on order. They are coming. Cause I know this is like, there's no shade for the fish really. I mean, they can kind of crawl under. If you guys saw the build under that rock and this rock is a little fish cave. So they can go in there and hide. But I mean, again, the idea is you're not going to put giant fish in here. You're not going to put a whole bunch of fish in here because it's not that big of an area. You're going to want to try to keep it a little bit, you know, keep the fish downsized a little bit. Lucy is freaking out at the quail right now. I don't know what her deal is. Today's plan is to go catch some fish in the backyard pond. Before we do that, we got to take care of some of these guys right here. What are you guys doing, Milk and Toast? You guys hungry or what? You guys want some food? You starving? Okay, I guess. I guess we probably should feed you guys. What about you, big boy? Big boy, what are you doing? Wake up, big boy. Hey, wake up. Hey, Millie, Lucy, what were you barking for? Are you chasing quail again? Hey, big boy. Big boy, wake up. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I don't have anything for you. You guys already have food. All right, I guess I should feed these little pigs. Bony apple feet. Boom. Well, they're taken care of. Let's go check on the rest of the animals. Uh, Jerry, what are you doing, Jerry? You hanging out there, pal? Hey, sheep. How you doing? Dale, you want some grain, buddy? Everybody wants their grain right now today. Everybody, is everybody alive? Can we get a can we roll call? Can we get a check? Rick? How you doing there, buddy? Is everybody alive? Did you protect everybody last night? We had a bunch of coyotes coming out here last night. I could hear them barking and howling and yipping and hollering and stuff like that. And so I just want to make sure everybody's alive and well, Rick. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of feathers. Are those turkey feathers? What are those? We got one turkey. We got two turkeys. Where's the other turkey? Uh-oh. Oh, we got two. Okay. Whew. Oh, we thought we lost Ed. Poor Ed. We don't want that. Anyway, Carol. You want some grain there, pal? How are these flies doing? Oh, you don't really have any flies on you. We sprayed with fly spray not too long ago, so that's good. Uh, I need to keep on that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these guys fed. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Bony apple feet. Hey, how about I give some to your boy, Steve? Hey, hey, let me get some to Steve. There you go. You go eat out of there. Tiffany, you want some, buddy? There you go. God, they are pregnant. I mean, look at Felicia. That is a wide load coming through right there. Rooster, you want some grain, buddy? There you go. Go eat out in the grass. Go pluck that grass up. And well, everything looks, everything's looking pretty good. I mean, no casualties. Okay, here you go. I was waiting. I was waiting for you to want this grain bucket. How you doing there, buddy? You and Steve hanging out. You pregnant? We're gonna have a lompaca. Well, easy. Hey, did you see her growl at me? Hey, she was growling at Carol, but hey, don't spit on me, okay? I'm your friend. You be good, Llama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Llama, what do you think we should catch today? We don't have Banjo. Banjo's usually on bluegill duty, so I might have to I might have to take over that. Bass, bluegill, catfish? Yeah, I agree. I agree with her. All right, here you go, Llama. Ready? Bony apple. Rick! Oh, Rick. Rick? Freaking Rick. Anyways, everything's taken care of. Let's go fishing. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, Lucy, you gonna swim, buddy? She's probably gonna mess up bluegill duty. Here she goes. You got it. Come on, you got it. How about you going on the dock? Then you don't then you don't bug all the fish. Oh no, nope, nope. she decided not to. There you go. You got it. Go ahead. See you later. Have fun. Anyways, uh, so this is what the plan is. Here's the boat that we're gonna be taking. Uh, we gotta go give it a little bit of a dangle. But we, are you are you good? Just go up the bank a little bit. She's pretty bright. She's got it. She's a smart dog. Hey, side note. Uh, did you bring a battery? For what? Oh yeah, I'm prepared. 
Okay. in the back of the meat. Oh, okay. Just oh, make I'm, it I'm, Just I'm, make I'm, it I am ready to rock and roll. So, okay. fish feeder. Actually, it's supposed to go off in like 20 minutes, which we could use to our advantage. Uh, so the goal again, bluegill, catfish, bass. Uh, so we're gonna get the boat loaded up, get out there, start fishing. These dogs are probably gonna freak out because they're not gonna come with us. I mean, yeah, they probably shouldn't yeah, come no. with us. No, <laughs> no, if it was like one of them, I was, I cut it out for a second. I'm like, yeah, probably not. So we'll see how they act when we go out there and do some dangling, but this feeder's gonna go off in like 20 minutes. So the idea would be maybe catch a bass or try to catch a bass before that. Once the feeders go off though, the catfish and the blue, I mean, I can see bluegill swimming right here. We've trained them now to hang out here and then we've got another feeder up there we've trained them to hang out right here which is really nice it makes the fishing a little bit easier and helps grow helps grow the fish i mean that's the that's the go oh god millie 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 she about to fall off the edge over there yeah. millie there you go buddy you want to go fishing you want to get in the boat come on get in the boat come on you got it let's go fishing come on you got it <laughs> she i don't know if she wants to go or not she's she's kind of thinking about it. anyways let's get loaded up get all the rods in and uh try to catch some bass and then like i said the feeder goes off and maybe we'll have a good shot at bluegill and catfish you guys stay tuned oh god rip beauty i love this boat. this is this is the boat dreams are made of it's just so easy easy peasy all right pull jet jump in up here and i'll get i'll jump in the back see you later pups look at them you guys are so cute hold down the fort we're going fishing Shoo. Dude, this thing rips. This thing it rips. All right, I'm gonna go pull up to this point here where we've got a decent amount of bass before. We've got a little bucket here. That's gonna be our temporary live well. But we're not, you know, the fish aren't gonna be in here for more than 20, 30 minutes. Because obviously the pond's just right up the hill. So with that being said, we gotta get to dangling. You guys stay tuned. Boom, that is what I've got right there. That is all the tackle I brought uh, to do a little bit of dangling. Pull that, you are on what, bluegill copy duty potentially? Anything, anything duty, oh, anything yeah. duty. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of bass fishing. Gonna be using, you know, of course, the Guggen bait stuff. But if you guys want any fishing lures at all, the best selling stuff, especially Guggen squad stuff, up to 30% off, you can click the link down below and go to shopcarls.com. They're sponsoring today's video, so huge shout out to those guys is where I get all of my fishing gear needs at an extreme discounted rate, all the new stuff that's coming out they've got it it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's video we're going to get everything rigged up and hopefully catch a couple of you know all the species that live in the pond you guys stay tuned all righty folks i'm starting off with the Guggen squad lunker log this is in watermelon red flake color it is really calm as you guys can see i mean it is dead calm not not a br breath of wind you have a fish no you don't you have a oh, snag dude. i saw your line move well there's not a breath of wind out here so that calls for a good old weightless lunker log in my book uh we might try a couple different things like i said pool jet he's on bluegill crappie duty he's throwing like a little little grub underspin looking majigger my goal is just to get a largey largey in the bucket and then focus on the catfish and the bluegill those those feeders should be going off here pretty soon so we'll be we'll be armed and dangerous we'll be ready to rock and roll i got a couple little things of hot dogs try to catch a catfish i don't know how well that's gonna work or not but we're hoping for the best well i'm already making a change folks water's looking dirty real dirty so we're gonna switch up the colors here a little bit. I think we're gonna work a little bit better. We are going with black and blue flake, five inch lunker log. Same bait as I was just throwing, but a little bit darker. I tend to like this color when it's muddy. I think the fish can see it a little bit better. Um, can you catch them on green pumpkin and watermelon or whatever? Yes, but I just have a little bit more confidence in this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and switch up colors here and start chucking it around. We're T minus like five minutes before this feeder goes off. So hopefully we can catch a big one. Look at it, it's giving her a heck. All right, perfect. It's done. We're gonna pull up and uh, hopefully it catches us a fish to see if anything starts busting on it. You see any splashes? I don't see nothing. I seen what are these fish doing? Are they sleeping? I thought this feeder was gonna be the deal. Go try, I'm gonna go check out the other one. That other one I've seen more fish. Usually it's like a feeding frenzy when the thing goes off, but I also have turned up like nine feedings a day, so maybe everything's just full. The idea is obviously the bluegill, the catfish, they, they bite it and they grow, but then it also makes all the bluegill and stuff come together, which makes the bass, you know, know where the bluegill is. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a good way of managing fish, catching fish, growing fish. All that fun stuff. I, I don't know what the deal is. I've been down here in the past and it's like a feeding frenzy when these things go off, but I did bump it up to nine feedings a day, but sure, three seconds, spaced throughout the whole day. Maybe that's just a little too much. Maybe they're maybe they're full. Oh, got a fish. Yep. Oh God, he got, me, he got me wrapped. That was definitely a fish. Oh, he got out, he got out. Oh, Jimmy. 
What up, Rick? Hey, how you doing? Hey, that's the size we gotta take out of here anyway, folks. Look at that. That's just a little wee guy. That's a wee guy. He's a pudgy little sucker. That's the that's the perfect size though, because that's not doing any good in our pond. This guy needs to grow. He is kind of chunky. Oh yeah, I like his name's Philip. I already named that guy. He looks like a Philip. So Philip, you're gonna go in the pond for now. We'll release you back out to the pond this fall, but we're gonna try to get you a little bit bigger before then. I did not know bass this size existed in the pond. It's been a long time since I caught one like this. Oh god. <laughs> you like that? Why would you do that? <laughs> it slipped. Philip! Philip! I'll put you in the bucket. Hey. Philip is dumb thick. Alright, we're good. Yeah, there's got a little water in the boat, no big deal. Well, we've got Philip, that's good. On the Goon Squad Lunker log. Done did it dirty. Philip had me wrapping the tree, thought he was old bacon. He's just a little guy, but I said it's perfect for the pond. The idea is you take smaller fish out of this pond, grow them in that pond, and then release them. That's that's the whole plan. So one fish down. Gotta try to catch a few more. Oh, I might have a bite. Yeah. Oh God, he's running at me. He's running at me. God, he is a fast son of a gun. Get up here. Oh, that's a better one. Yoo! Let's go, baby. Hey, you want to join Philip or what? He hey. might eat Philip. Nah, he, him and Philip are bros. They ain't gonna eat each other. Hey, hey, for two seconds. Eh, 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 eh. There you go. All right, hey, what up, Rick? Got another largey on deck. That's another. That's about the. That's the stunted size in this pond. If there's an average, that's about him. Hey, you go join Philip there. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Well, he's joining Philip. We're gonna keep fishing, um, just to see what we can catch. It's been rough on the catfish and bluegills today, though. I will say that it's been a little bit tough, but at least we're catching some largey. So we'll see what else we can get. Oh, oh, that was a bite. Big Papa, hit it again, my guy. Hit it again, my guy. Come on, come on. What right the bush dreams are made of. It was pop, pop, pop. Oh. All right, you want to see a magic trick? That's how you get that back there, son. <laughs> That's the old zip line? That's the old zip line tactic, yeah. See, you guys didn't think you would learn anything in this episode. If you like breaking rod tips and want to get your bait back, follow my tips. Alrighty folks, we made it to the back of the pond. We've got the filthy frog tied on with the snap crackle and pop reel. Imagine that. We're gonna see if we can get old Big Bertha back here in the swamp. We're having honestly a little bit tougher time than I had anticipated trying to catch some fish. The bluegill didn't want to cooperate, the catfish didn't really want to cooperate. I mean again, we have night crawlers. I would I would put some money that we would cost some more fish. We didn't, we kind of came underprepared, but we do have Philip and uh I don't know what buddy's name is, you guys might have to name him. He don't he don't really look like anything to me. Philip looks like Philip though. But we're gonna try for one last largey back here in the swamp and then we're gonna get these guys in the pond before they start dying or something. Chew. Hey, how you doing? Millie, Lucy, we're back. I have no idea where they're at. Anyways, we're back at the dock. We didn't catch another fish. We're gonna unload all this stuff and head up to the mini pond to release our new pet fish. All right, well folks, we made it down to the pond. This is what it looks like. No fish, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and add uh, Philip and uh, Philip and Jeffrey. You like that guy? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. I like Jeffrey. Hey, he looks like a good Jeff. Oh, what happened? Here? Philip and Jeffrey. Oh, that's that's the old dangle. The old filthy frog was getting filthy out of the dangle in the back yeah. or something. Anyways, hey pigs, quit. No, they're gonna knock that fence on any day now. So we've got the fish in the bucket. We're gonna go ahead and release these. Uh, there's a good chance that Lucy's going to try to eat these guys. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, but you go ahead, Pulja. You just just go ahead and give her the old lift out and lift out and go or something. Jeffrey. You got Jeff first. Open your Big mouth, Jeff, Jeff guy. Millie, what's Jeffrey doing? There you go, Jeffrey. All right. Yeah, Jeffrey. I'll, I'll put him on this little shelf here. That way he can he can swim his way down, right? Oh, it's a little colder. A little chilly. I'll, I'll, I'll go slow. I don't know if that changes anything, but... Uh, Jeffrey will be all right. He's a beast. There you go, Jeff. You got it, buddy. There you Shoot. go. Oh, there you go, Jeff. Oh, you Shoot! Go. Look at Jeff. You're killing it, buddy. There you go. Look at him. Oh, Jeff is living his best life right now. It's crazy, because now you guys can actually see. Oh, he's going to the fish cave. Oh, see you later, Jeff. Do you see him? He's gone. Jeff's in the cave. All right, Philip. Got old Philip Phillip, here. Philip, make me proud there, guy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, see you later, Philip. Where'd you go, Philip? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Hey, how you doing? Where'd you go? He's where'd, going to the fish cave. Where'd old Jeffrey go? Jeffrey, Jeffrey's up in that fish cave oh, right really? there. Yeah, I mean, that's good that they, they have that spot because it'll keep them cool. It's deep, it's shaded. Um, It's a really good area for them to kind of hang out in. So, well, we got those two guys. We're not done yet though, folks, okay? Video is not over. We need to go get food for these little guys right here. Minnows, goldfish, something like that. We're gonna run into town, go to the bait shop, see what he's got so we can feed these guys so they grow nice, big, and strong. So when we release them, they are top predators in the backyard pond. You guys stay tuned. Boom, folks. We've got some bait. We just got back from the store. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Philip's gonna love that guy. And we got some big old goldfish. Look at these big chunky things. Oh, hang on. Where you at, Nemo? Get back here. Hey, Rick. Hey. Oh yeah. Big chunky. So we got these back from the store. We're gonna throw these at we're gonna throw these in there, let them swim around, see if they eat. I'd be pretty surprised if these bass actually do eat. They usually get pretty stressed for the first couple of days. They'll be in there. If they if they want them, it'll be in there. They're they're in their little cave. They like the cave. Both of them. I just saw both of them swim in that cave. So here you go, Rick. Let's see if they even come out and check it out. If you're right in front of them. I see his face. He's kind of looking at it. I've got a feeling that we're not gonna see any any fish feeding for a while. I'll try a little minnow. Right there. Oh, that goldfish is going in the cave. Do you not understand that Philip is in there? Oh God. Oh God, rip. Rip to this goldfish. Yeah, he's not gonna touch it, I don't think. Well, it's about what I expected, folks. Hey, it is what it is. They'll eat eventually. So give them a couple days. Uh, let them kind of get a little bit more comfortable with their surroundings. Um, but the idea is you wanna make sure that they have food. Um, once I get used to eating the goldfish, we should be able to grab a goldfish, throw it in there, and boom, they're gonna eat it just like that. So we, we even got some of these little shiner minnows for Philip, because Philip, I don't think, could really eat one of those big goldfish. So Philip's got food. The other guy, what I named the other guy? Something with Jay. I already forgot. Oh no, come on. Philip, Philip, Jeffrey? Je Jeffrey, yeah. Uh, Philip and Jeffrey. Phil Phil Philip and Jeffrey. So we got food for Philip and Jeffrey. We're gonna go ahead and just dump this guy out here. There you go. All right, Philip and Jeffrey. You guys got plenty of food now. Keep you guys alive for a little bit. But comment down below, what fish would you like to see us add to this? We do need to get some plants in here because basically, like, it's just a fish tank. Like, with regards of it's just being crystal clear and no real shade. They do have their cave, which is good. That They, they like that. All right, so this is what the pond looks like before and after. 